Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Boy, oh boy, we finally made it. Central City. Now, don't get so excited that you forget to watch where we're going and get lost, Jojo. Oh, Mom, it's just that I wanted to get to see Central City for such a long time, and every time I have a chance, something seems to happen. I guess I shouldn't worry about you getting lost. Not in that hat. I don't think you like my Sherlock Holmes hat, Mom. Well, I just think you're a little too old to be playing Sherlock Holmes. That's all. I'm not playing Sherlock Holmes. I just like this kind of hat. I just think it looks silly, but go ahead and wear it if you must. Well, now that we're here, I'd like to get a lot of shopping done. Oh, Mom, let's go around and see the sights. We'll do that a little later. We have all day, you know. Right now, I really do want to stop in this store and look around. Boy, some fun. Hm. I might just as well be back in Naughty Pine going shopping with you. Speaking about being back in Naughty Pine, Jojo, look over there, across the street. I didn't know he was coming up this way. We might have ridden with him. Where are you looking? Over there, see? In front of that men's store. Bill! Hey! Hey, that's Ranger Bill over there. Only look, Mom, he's not in his Ranger uniform. Why don't we run over there and say hello? If he isn't too busy, maybe we can ask him to have lunch with us. Oh, boy, that's swell. Hey, hey, Bill! I guess he doesn't hear me. Hey, Bill. Good morning, Bill. Hey, hi, Bill. Were you addressing me, young man? Yeah, sure. Oh, come on, Bill. Don't think just because you don't have your uniform on that you can fool us. <laughs> I thought Stumpy was in charge of the joke department. You two go ahead and talk while I stop in this store to look around. Okay, come Mom. Come Jojo, when you're oh, through. Okay, okay, Mom. Why are you out of uniform, Bill? Uniform? Uh, I'm afraid you have me confused with someone else. Bill, don't you recognize me? It's Jojo. Are you all right, Bill? I told you that you have me confused with someone else. Now, please leave me. But you look like Bill, except for the uniform you usually wear. And you even sound like Bill. Oh, come on, Bill. What is this, a joke? Young man, this is not a joke, as you call it. You have me confused with this Bill person who I am not. Now, if you will not leave me, I will leave you. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Bill. That is Bill, I'm sure of it. I wonder why the brush off. Hey, I know. He must be on some sort of secret assignment. He didn't dare recognize me. Wow. I wonder what it is. He sure did a good job of pretending he didn't know me. Almost gave me the creeps to see someone you you know who says he doesn't know you. I wonder if I should follow him. No, better not. Probably a pretty important job if he isn't in uniform and isn't supposed to know anyone. But maybe he'd go somewhere where it would be safe to talk. No, no, I shouldn't get in his way. Maybe someone would see us who shouldn't, and then... Still, maybe I could help him if he ran into trouble. I guess maybe I will follow him at a safe distance, just in case he should need help all of a sudden. Jojo, where are you? Jojo? I wonder where he went. That 
boy. I told him to come straight in. Hmm. Well, I hope he doesn't get into any trouble. But I doubt whether he would with Bill. Besides, he has Franny's address in case he gets lost. He'll probably meet me there for lunch. Well, as long as Bill is entertaining Jojo for a while, I guess I can get some more shopping in. Boy, looks like we're getting near the waterfront. All these warehouses... I'm starting to feel like Sherlock Holmes, way I've been following Bill. I don't even think he knows it. I've been out of sight every time he looked around. Whoops. Almost missed his turn in there. I'd better hurry. He turned this corner. I'd better peek around the corner first. There he goes, into that big warehouse. I don't see any signs on it. Must be a secret meeting place or something. Boy, I wonder what kind of assignment he's on. Must be exciting. He's gone in. Boy, now what'll I do? Maybe I'll just move a little closer to that warehouse. There just might be a window open or, or something. Maybe I could just take a little look inside. You never know if Bill might be in trouble in there or, or something like that. <laughs> Is that you, 16? Yes, 13. I just came in. I'm coming right up. You took longer than expected. I was beginning to worry. Well, there was nothing to worry about, 13. I simply took my time and did a careful job. All went according to plan. Good, good. Do you have the papers? Right here in my inside jacket pocket. Excellent. They will be happy to get these. Are they the right ones? I am sure of it. They're exactly where they were supposed to be. I, of course, know nothing of this kind of material. Nor I. But I am sure these are the right ones. Excellent. Uh, They sure are a very impressive lot. They must be very full of information. They have gone to a great deal of trouble to get them. That in itself speaks highly for their importance. Yes. And how good that nothing has gone wrong. I, too, am glad. But, uh... But what? As I was on my way back here with the papers, a young boy and a woman addressed me. It was purely a case of mistaken identity, but he was very insistent. Kept saying something about me being out of uniform. Uh, That is indeed strange. Did he follow you? I do not think so. I made it quite clear that I was not this Bill person that he mistook me for and walked away. He protested no further. Hmm. Well, maybe it was just a case of mistaken identity, as long as you were not followed. My knowledge, no. I am sure it was only a harmless incident. We cannot be too careful. These papers are too important to be mistaken about such a thing. I do not think he was an agent. He was only a young boy with a funny hat. A funny hat? Yes. It was quite unusual. It had... Peaks on both ends and somehow tied its side flaps at the top. It is difficult to describe. It does not seem probable that an agent would make himself quite so obvious. I thought exactly. That is why I've passed off the whole incident as precisely what it appeared to be. A case of mistaken identity. Uh, These papers spell riches for us, 16. You had better get busy microfilming them. It'd be a sad day indeed if something were to happen to them this late in the game. Yes, of course. And while I am microfilming them, you had better go out and get our plane tickets to get us out of the country. Yes, that is a good idea. Fortunately, it is not hard to get plane reservations in this city. Possibly we could be well on our way tonight. I hope so. The sooner the better. Now that we have the papers, there is no need for our waiting around. In fact, it would be better for us to leave immediately. Then I will go for reservations at once. And I will hurry to get these papers microfilmed and hidden. What? What? The alarm. Someone is trying to get into the warehouse. This is the first such attempt. For a moment, I did not know what the alarm sound was. Quickly, turn on the television camera. Let us see who our visitor is. Right. While I am operating this camera, you had best get those papers out of sight. Ah, it's beginning to focus. I'll hide them here. In the wastebasket? 
Who would think to look for them there? Good idea. Now, let's see who is intruding in our privacy. What? Look, climbing that back window. It looks like... That young boy who stopped me on the street. He must have followed me here. That is right. And perhaps we have misjudged his importance. Perhaps he is not just a harmless boy with a funny hat. He's inside. He seems to be alone. He's shutting the window now behind him. I think we had better go down into the warehouse and welcome our young visitor. What's the matter, old-timer? Not getting enough sleep these nights? No, it's not that, Bill. It's just that it's uh, dull around here. Dull? Sure. But look at it this way, Bill. Henry's away at camp, and it ain't very good weather for forest fires, and even Pat O'Rourke and Jojo Jones are away. There just ain't anyone around to cause a little excitement. I don't know how to take that, old-timer. I'm still around here. Oh, sure, sure, but... You and me, well, uh, we know each other so well. They've been together for so long. It's like I'm talking to myself when we talk. <laughs> I feel the same way, Stumpy. Hey, a disaster is struck. Somebody's in trouble demanding our attention right away. <laughs> Why don't you just answer it and see what it is? I know what it'll be. Someone in trouble. Trapped on a ledge for weeks who doesn't eat but eagle eggs. Ranger headquarters, Stumpy Jenkins speaking. We specialize in rescues. <laughs> it's for you, Bill. Long distance. I'm sorry, old-timer. That's all right. Bill Jefferson speaking. Bill, what are you doing in Naughty Pine? Oh, hello, Mrs. Jones. Uh, I don't quite understand your question. I just wondered what you're doing there. And where is Jojo? Really, Bill, I thought you would have been more considerate. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Jones, but maybe we'd better start from the beginning. I don't quite follow you. All right. After you and Jojo talked today, where did you go? Already, I'm lost. Uh, Jojo spoke with me today? Yes, today. This morning, here in Central City. There must be some mistake, Mrs. Jones. I haven't been in Central City for weeks. Nonsense. I said hello to you here myself. You might have said hello to someone who looked like me, Mrs. Jones, but I can assure you it wasn't me. Well. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Bill, now I'm even more worried... If Jojo isn't with you, where is he? Well, now maybe we'd better start again. Uh, fill me in on any, anything you can, if you will. Certainly, Bill. As you know, Jojo and I were going to spend the day here in Central City. That's where I'm calling from. Uh-huh. Well, we arrived here this morning and were doing a little shopping when we saw you. At least we thought we saw you. <laughs> well, Bill, it looked so much like you that I didn't even question it for a minute. I said that Jojo should ask you to join us for lunch. Then I went into a store to look around. When I came back, Jojo was gone, and so were you. <laughs> At least the man who looks like you. Uh-huh. Uh, what did you do? Well, naturally, I thought Jojo was with you, and I didn't worry about him. I just went on shopping, figuring we'd all get together. Probably my sister's house. Jojo knows her address. That's where I'm calling from now. So anyhow, I just went right on shopping. And you say this was early this morning? Yes. I'd say about uh, 9 or 9.30. Bill, it's after 4 now, and I haven't heard from Jojo at all. That's why I called. Hmm. I really don't know what to tell you, Mrs. Jones. You'd think Jojo would at least try to contact you. Unless... Unless he's in some kind of trouble? Is that what you were going to say, Bill? Mrs. Jones, you sit tight right where you are. Stompy and I will hop in the Ranger Cub and fly up there on the double. Maybe between the three of us, we can locate Jojo. I'm so glad you decided to come, Bill. I'm really getting worried. No word yet, huh? No. Uh, Bill says you think that Jojo is wandering around with someone who looks like him. Is that right? I saw the man myself, Stumpy. He looked so much like Bill that I didn't even bother questioning it. The only thing that was different was that he wasn't wearing a ranger uniform. I've never heard of anyone who looked like Bill around these parts. 
I don't know how true it is, but they say that somewhere in the world there's someone who looks just like you. I doubt whether that's true in every case, but it does play with your imagination. Well, it's certainly true in your case, Bill. I've seen the man myself. And right now, he's somewhere with Jojo. Right. And we've got to find him. You say that this is the exact place where you saw the man? That's right. He was standing right in front of this men's store. And you haven't any idea which way Jojo and this man went? No idea at all, Bill. I told you. After we talked with this man, I went into this store and did some shopping. Well, uh, somebody might have seen him, uh... What did Jojo have on? Of course. He had on that silly Sherlock Holmes hat. It's too big for him and I think looks a bit ridiculous. Surely someone noticed it. Good. Now here's what we'll do. You and Stumpy start up in that direction, and I'll start in this one. We'll ask anyone who might have been here this morning. Possibly we'll be able to follow Jojo and find out what kind of situation he's gotten himself into. There, that should hold him. I have checked carefully all around the warehouse. From inside, of course. I do not think the young man brought anyone else to us. You didn't think you were followed at all, Sixteen. This will not go well with us when we report back to them. I know, I know. At least we have the papers. Yes, that is true. What shall we do with this young intruder? Put him in the back room while I think of something. <coughs> Come on. Back here with you. He does present us with a problem. I will puzzle it out as I microfilm these papers. I better retrieve them from the wastebasket. Yes. And I will set out to get our plane reservations. Take great care, Sixteen. Too much has gone wrong already. Let's be sure nothing else interferes. I will do what I can, Thirteen. I will go now to make our reservations. And I will try to decide exactly what to do with our curious little visitor who is tied in the back room. I'll never complain about that silly hat again. It sure is a good thing he was wearing it. I'll say. Surprising how many people noticed him. Been a much better trail than I'd anticipated. Oh, dear. I don't like the looks of this neighborhood. Are you sure this is the way they came? This is the direction everyone who saw him says he was going. Looks like we're getting close to the waterfront area. A lot of warehouses coming up. Have you noticed one thing, Bill? What's that, old-timer? I don't think a single person has said he was with anyone. You'd think they'd mention it if he was with someone who looked like you. That's a good point, Stumpy. But why would he come down here, of all places, alone, and not tell me where he was going? I'm afraid we'll have to ask Jojo that one when we find him. My, aren't there a lot of these warehouses? How will we know where to look? Maybe this fella coming this way will know something. Ask him if he's seen Jojo, will you, Bill? I sure will. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're trying to locate a young friend of ours who we think came into this area sometime earlier today. Uh, we wonder if you've seen him. Not bad, Rudolph. Not bad at all. What was that? I don't think I made that out myself. Excuse me, sir. Uh, maybe you didn't quite hear me. I heard you, Rudolph. I was complimenting you. This is one of the best yet. I think this feller probably won't be much help, Bill. Oh, Bill, is it? I guess it depends on the country, eh? Where'd you get the forest ranger uniform, Rudolph? Maybe we'd better start from the beginning. Maybe we'd better start for that car over there, all of you. If you'll come along peaceably, there won't be any trouble. If not, I and my friends in the car will have to um, convince you to come. Hey, what's this all about? The name is Downs, FBI. Oh, dear. FBI? That's right. I don't know how you two are involved with this phony ranger here, but... Uh, We'd all better go for a ride together. Phony? Now, hold on there, you young whippersnapper. Bill Jefferson is no phony. As a matter of fact, how do we know that you're the real article? Let's go over to the car. Come on. Uh, just a minute. We do have the right to be satisfied as to your actually being an FBI agent. Over to the car. We don't want any trouble. 
I'll show you all the identification you want. Then maybe you can show me some papers we're interested in recovering. Sure, I'm sorry, Mr. Jefferson, but you look exactly like that spy we're at. That's okay, Dean. And the name's Bill. Really? <laughs> we know that now. It's a good thing Colonel Anders has his ranger headquarters here in Central City. He might have ended up in jail. I don't think so. There are always ways to prove who you really are. <laughs> Can't get over how much you look like that spy. I sure would like to lay eyes on that spy, feller. So would we all. Especially now that it looks like Jojo Jones has somehow got himself mixed up with him. Well, they must be around this area somewhere. Both your leads and our trailing Jojo have led us to this warehouse district. The question is, where are they down here? In which look, warehouse? Look, look, there he is. What the... Yes, sirree. Well, I can hardly believe my own peepers. That man who just came out of that there warehouse up ahead was you, Bill. Keep driving past. I'll hide my face so he doesn't see me. Now remember that warehouse. You can drive around the block and catch him after he's far enough away that someone inside couldn't see him. Good idea. Did you see him, Bill? Do you see why everyone is confusing you two? It's remarkable. Gives me a funny feeling to see someone who looks so much like me. Now, maybe you understand why I didn't believe you at first. How do you know that I'm really not him and he me? <laughs> hey, cut that out. You should just about be coming around this corner now. I'd better pull over. I'll get out and bring him over to the car. You all wait right here. Okay, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need any help? I think he probably knows what he's doing, Stumpy. Besides, I think it might be a little safer here in the car. You've got the idea, Mrs. Jones. I don't expect any trouble, but you never know what a man will do when he's put on the spot. Bill, you might cover me from here. There's a gun in the glove compartment. Oh, dear. Okay, Dean. I hope I won't have to use it. So do I. See you. There's that spy feller. I sure am glad you're sitting right here, Bill. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference if I couldn't see the both of you at once. It's amazing, all right, old-timer. <laughs> Looks like Dean isn't going to have any trouble at all. That's good. Here they come. That spy feller doesn't look the happiest I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, I can see a difference in you two, Bill. You've never had an expression like that on your face. Get in the back there with that other man. All right. I can hardly believe it. Even this close up. I'm coming around to sit in front. Well, you have quite a reception committee. He even sounds like you, Bill. <sighs> it's uncanny, isn't it? What is all this that you're talking about? Bill, um, turn around and show this guy who you are. All right. Good afternoon. What? Look at the look on his face. He looks like he's seen a ghost. <laughs> he sure does. You'd think he'd never looked in a mirror before. Who would have thought that there would be someone that would look so much like me? Whoops, hold on there. If you aren't watching, there's no way of telling who's talking. You must be the bill person that the boy was... That's right, I am. That's exactly what we wanted to know. Jojo is with you, isn't he? I don't know who or what you're talking about. Is he harmed at all? What have you done with him? I guess he isn't talking. We've got to get into that warehouse and find out what's going on. Let's get back there. Not so fast. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> I did, Bill. I have an idea. If they're planning to leave tonight and have those papers, they wouldn't just be relaxing. If we went in there, we might meet a pretty hot reception. Yeah, well, what do you suggest, Bill? Why not let me change clothes with this fella and go in there myself? If you can't tell the difference, we can assume that his friend or friends can't either. You can radio for help and rush the warehouse if I'm in there too long. It'll never work. My friends are too smart for a trick like that. Besides, we know all about you. I doubt that very much. Sounds like he's arguing with himself. <laughs> if you and your friends knew all about me, why did they assign you to a job so close to where I live? 
Too much danger of running into either friends of mine or myself, I'd think. Good thinking, Bill. Now, let's get these clothes exchanged. I'm anxious to get into that warehouse and see if Jojo is still all right. Just a few more and they'll be ready to go. Now what? Ah, the television viewer is still on. Let me see who breaks in upon us now. What? That stupid... Why has he come back? Sixteen! Sixteen, what are you doing back here? I, uh... I forgot something. It'll only take a minute. Well, hurry up up here. What if someone saw you? I don't think there's any danger of my being caught. There is danger for both of us. And what do you mean coming in that way? You set off the alarm. I'm sorry. I, uh, I forgot my key. Of all the stupid... Why, I might have killed you. Come in quickly. Um, uh, where are the others? Others? What are you talking about? What others? Are you all right? Of course. I meant, uh, the boy. Where's the boy? You know very well where the boy is. You put him in the back room yourself. Now get whatever it is you came back for and go for those reservations. We have very little time. Less than you know. This is no time for your morbid humor. What did you come back for, anyway? To get the boy. What? That's right. <laughs> Here you go, Jojo. What are you doing? Have you lost your senses? I'm releasing the boy. What does it look like I'm doing? But why? Stop it. There you go, Jojo. Now the gag. There. I demand <laughs> to know what you're doing. Why have you released the boy? I needed the rope. What are you going to do to me now? What did you need the rope for? There's plenty of rope around here. I needed this rope to tie you with, my friend. Bill, is it you? Is it really you, Bill? What? That's right, Jojo. Are there any others around here? I don't think so. Just him and, and another guy who looks like you. Good. You won't take me. You won't take me. Bill is getting away. Stay put, Jojo. He's not going far. We'll see who isn't getting away. I got you. Wow, you got him, Bill. Run outside, will you, Jojo? There should be a few FBI men waiting to come in here. And one mother, very anxious to see you. Well, boys and girls, as you can see, sometimes it isn't easy to tell the real thing just by looking. You can see why the Bible tells us the Lord sees not as man sees, for man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. It's there that what a man really is, is seen. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! <laughs> Ranger Bill was produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.